Hey guys! So you're probably wondering what's what going on. Is this? Well, this is a survivor recap, just like back in the olden days. Yeah. So the podcast. <laughs> we decided um, it wasn't working out for a bunch of different reasons. It was making us hate life. Nobody was really watching it, so I'm sorry for, like, the 100 people that were watching it. No, or... like, seriously, you guys who were watching it, thank you so much for the support. We do appreciate it. Yeah. And I'm uh, sorry we're we sorry a... that we can't keep doing it anymore. We had but to pull the plug on it, so. It was just getting a little too yeah. crazy. Especially with all the new Real Housewives starting. Oh, my God. <laughs> we couldn't talk about, every, like, we just couldn't do it. But we did want to keep going with the Survivor chats. So yeah. we're just going to do it old school like we used to and talk and about Survivor. we're going to pick up uh, Amazing Race when that starts. I didn't know that. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. <laughs> but if you guys do want to talk about all those other reality shows that we will still be watching, um, come hang out with us during our live show, our live stream, which is on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Right. All right, so now let's talk about this week's episode of Survivor. Oh, it was emotional. It was day 24. We were on the beach. We walked into the challenge, and Jeff said, All right, guess what? It's family day. What? So everybody's family showed up. They were shook, though, because they didn't think it was going to be happening this early in the season with so many people left. Yep. Um, there was also another big surprise. Yes. It's not just you and a plus one. It's your entire family. Well, what? immediate family, anyway. Yeah, so anybody with kids, like their kids got to come, their spouses got to come, partners, whatever. The only one um, I noticed who only had one child show up when they... I know they had more than one child was Tyson. I wonder mm. if... Um, she might just be too young. Too young or wasn't feeling well or... Yeah. Well, Kim's husband was there with their three kids. Mm -hmm. Ben's wife and his two kids. Sophie's husband... Who she couldn't stop smelling and saying, <laughs> oh, you smell so good. I, I look like a supermodel, her. right? I mean, the families must show up and be like, whoa, <laughs> you smell. Yes. Sarah's partner and her son, uh, like living partner, not like police, police partner. partner. <laughs> I'm assuming. Mm. Um, Are you even allowed to be police partners with your spouse? Probably not, I feel like right? that's, like, some sort of... Uh, conflict? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think they would do that. But I don't know that much about police stuff, so... Well, there was Denise's husband and her slightly older daughter. I she was, was like, 15 I was half. really surprised when she said that her daughter was 15, because I thought she was a lot older. Yeah. She looked... Well, you know what it is, I think, because Denise is so short, and her Maybe. husband and daughter were so tall... I guess. ...compared to her. I don't know. Nick and his fiance. Oh. Has anyone seen my fiance? Well, yes, we have. They're on Survivor. <laughs> yep. Uh, Tony's wife and two kids. His uh, kid was the only one who was crying, the daughter. Oh, I know. <laughs> Daddy, I don't want to be here. I got to say, all these kids were really well behaved from what we saw. They really were. They really were. Michelle, uh, her sister, mm -hmm. who is her soulmate, showed up. Uh, Tyson's wife and one of his daughters. I don't know um, why the other daughter wasn't there. I think she might have just been too young. I don't know. Yeah. Jeremy and his wife and four kids. Damn. This is the first time uh, that his wife has been on the show, on the visit, because she couldn't do it before. Oh, no, wait, that's well, she's not She's been true. on the show. She's been on the show. <laughs> she was uh, pregnant with... Um, one of the kids. It was cool seeing his family, because yeah. the they other really... times that he played, like, one of the kids was just born, mm -hmm. and one of them, like, wasn't she pregnant with one of them during one of his seasons The or second something? to last one, and then the other one um, they've had since he's been on the show. Mm -hmm. So that was lovely. Just like the title of the episode, Full Circle. Exactly. So... It was cool to see, too, like, how many people, like, their sibling or their spouse or whatever was also a Survivor contestant at one time. Right. This really, I feel like, 
this is like ingrained in their families and it's cool to see them all enjoying it together. I was waiting for like there to be gloom and doom like when the kids would be like, no mommy, no, I don't want to go. Well, also, Jeff played a trick on them and he was like, okay, we're going to have all the adults and the teenagers swim out and then the younger kids are going to be digging for puzzle pieces over here. And everyone was like, what? Yeah, some of the kids look really worried. Um, some of them looked excited. Some of them knew that it was, you know... A joke. I mean... As a joke? Then he said, you know what? We're not having a challenge. Duh! I don't see how they could have. There was no way they could have with little kids involved. Because, I mean, even if it was just the survivors playing and then they get the reward to spend time with their families, right. they could not do that with those little kids there. That would have been tragic. That would have been heartbreaking. That would have been drama central. So, so he was like, y'all are winners. You're all going to celebrate buddy, together. Everybody, go back to camp. They had delicious barbecue food. They mm -hmm. had takeout food. They had party food. And everybody was having a great time. Enemies kids were playing with enemies kids. Yeah, there and wasn't really much game going on there from what we saw anyway. Um, it was nice. It, it was like, like a survivor lot of fun. meet and greet. It was very emotional <laughs> to watch. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Um, can I, I imagine how they were all feeling? I was very surprised that I did not cry. I definitely cried. Um... When the families came out. But then they showed the edge of extinction. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to the edge of extinction even, I'm just wondering, like, do you think this was some sort of bargaining chip either way, like, to get people on the show this season? Because if you think about it, the producers could have been like, okay, just sweeten the pot a little bit. When we get to the family visit, your whole family can come out, not just one person. Or <laughs> the contestants could have been like, well, if I'm going to do this show... I want you to bring my whole family out. I don't think so. Like, do you think that was part of it at all? Because it seemed to me like they weren't surprised that they had more people visiting than just the, the traditional one per they player. They might have known, but I don't think it was a bargaining thing. I think it was just a promotional thing by the airline. Because yeah. Jeff said that you they know this whole thing it. was sponsored yeah. by the, um, the airline, Fuji Airways or something like that. Or... Yeah, so, okay, let's go to the Edge of Extinction. All right, so now at Edge of Extinction, you know how you can kind of, like, see where the flag is? Oh, and I'm do you thinking, think they could all see everyone celebrating? I don't know. That's what I that was wondering. Like, oh, my God, do they see, like, everybody having a great time on the beach with their families? Mm -hmm. I don't, they didn't show them, like, you know, drooling over what was going on on the other no. beach or, like, you know, uh, ready to raise the sail, but they showed, like, a boat coming up and they're like hey this feels what's weird going what's going what on that? and then when they got closer i guess it was natalie that said it's our families oh my god so <laughs> the boat arrives and the families pour out and there's babies mm -hmm. and it's a big cry fest this is when i shed a tear because these people have less than the that's true you know they're so really I, going through it yeah they're going through it like and they're, I felt they're like, not really in the game oh, right now this is so nice for them to also get this to too. that's when i cried mm -hmm. i didn't cry for the others i cried for argentina all right so <laughs> wow they did not have food either yeah i mean they didn't get the full reward but what a treat to see their families even though they've already been voted out what was up with Parvati's kid licking her teeth? Ew! <laughs> that was really weird. That was too um, much. Uh, Ethan really... Uh, there was a lot of Mac going hard. on. <laughs> kissed his wife pretty hard. Boston Rob and Amber were just like... They had all their kids, kids. there. So, like, it was, it was great. Even Natalie's, I guess, uh, niece or nephew was there mm -hmm. with... Um, her sister. Her sister, yeah. Adorable. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, they were just happy to see, just happy to see them. That's nice. All I right. like that. So let's get right to the immunity challenge. It is the wobbly table. Woo! You gotta love a wobbly <laughs> I table. I love this one, yeah. So you had to stack up your blocks that spelled out immunity. One at a time. Yeah, you had to go back and forth and make sure that you had the right tension in your rope to keep that stack on that platform. This was really weird because I don't remember the rope being that heavy in past challenges. Why? Because it seemed like um, 
a lot of the time, like, the rope was just, like, on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that was enough to, like, hold the table for a while. It seemed like you had to hold it. Maybe it's because they made the lanes longer. Or it could be. I'm they did sure. comment that it was a long, yeah, long walk from end to end. Yeah. So I think they uh, changed. They probably changed it up because it wouldn't be fair if they had like exactly the same challenge. Yeah, because I mean they've done this challenge done before. Yeah, but... Michelle did it, and um, who else did they say did it? I forgot, but um, Sarah. Maybe Nick. I think it was Sarah. Oh, it was Sarah. But this challenge, I love to watch because there's always the there's slow always and steady thrills and spills there's always the slow and steady and then there's like the crazy risky ones right who move really quickly right and it could be great but it could also be awful it could blow up in your face and they up the ante the winner gets two fire tokens instead of the one that they had last time right along with the immunity right mm -hmm. So Jeremy, right right off the bat, he was the first one who dumped his and had to start that over. That we saw anyway. Yeah. Uh, he had four, and he, and he had to start over. Then Kim crapped out, too. And there were a lot of people after that. Tyson like, oh. and Nick crapped out. The two front runners, though, at the end were Ben and Tony. Mm -hmm. And they were, they both had immunity spelled out, and they were going for that final uh, dead man walking down the uh, last... Right. Path to so get up on the platform. Ben, it seemed like was really gaining some ground and yeah. catching up to, to Tony. But then it was too fast, and he had dumb. <laughs> and by too fast, he was going like this. Yeah. Instead of like this. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Thank you. So then all the pressure was off of Tony, and he could just like walk he could it just back, turtle it in there. <laughs> So he won. Wow. And Tony was so proud of himself because... He was surprised at himself for winning a patience challenge. Yeah, because he's really fast and sloppy. Those I are can his see own that. words, yeah. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun to watch. So um, Jeremy immediately goes to Tony mm -hmm. and is like, what are we going to do? And Jeremy says that he wants to split up Sarah and Sophie because he notices there's a little something going on there and uh, he wants to... Yeah. Dip it in the bud. But Tony's really close with Sarah. Yeah. Um, so he does not want Sarah and Sophie that's to be partner. split up. Yeah. That's so, his office. That's his survival officer partner. Cops are us. Yeah. So, um. Sarah is like, okay, we should take out Kim. She's yes. talking to Tony and she says we should take out Kim. And he wasn't totally on board at first. He was saying Tyson, wasn't he? I thought, no, I thought he was saying, um... I thought he was saying Tyson at first. Okay. And she was like, uh, no, he's not really a big threat right now. We need to take out Kim because she's got everybody she's in got her back She's got the whole pocket. world in her hands. Yeah. The whole survivor world in her hands. She's going to win this thing. And I have to agree. If they don't she's take out Kim... She's playing a good game, yeah. She's playing an amazing game, and everybody knows it. Mm-hmm. So, Tony uh, becomes suspicious of Jeremy. He doesn't like... That Jeremy was throwing Sarah under the bus. So he tells Ben and Nick, um, maybe we should get Jeremy out. Oh my and he says, I can get Denise and I can get Sarah and we've you got mean Sophie five and Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We could get Sophie and Sarah. We could be a five. We can be a five. We got this. Right. So then on the other side, Kim tells Jeremy and Tyson that she has an idol. She's willing to play it on people other than herself, too. Right. So she's like, okay, if we can figure out who they're voting for, then we can make a move here. Well, and, and then Tyson said, good, I feel better about that because I feel like I'm going home. I mean, the battle lines, this is a very important tribal. The battle lines is, are being yeah. drawn. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of powers floating around. This, and Yeah, th this was the episode where it really came to a head. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Jeremy has an advantage to leave Tribal. I totally forgot about that. Well, I just want to say, too, Kim was like, we should get rid of Sophie. Right. No. <laughs> so Jeremy has that advantage, and that's great for him. Safety with no power. But they really need his vote. Yeah. So he's like, okay, guys, I can just leave and be safe, but I can't vote if I do that. And they're like, well... We kind of need you for the numbers, so it'd be really cool if you didn't leave. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Sarah still has her steal a vote. 
Damn. And she might have to use it. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of moving parts in this whole situation. So at Tribal, uh, Jeff's asking Nick, like, so are you, do you still think this is boring? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and The Nick's whispers like, start nope. immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds in, uh, I believe Kim starts whispering to Michelle, and mm-hmm. then all, all hell breaks loose. Everybody's getting up out of their seats. They're whispering. They're all... <laughs> but nobody was whispering to Jeremy. He was, like, sign. kind of sitting out on the side. Not um, a good sign. No. For him. So, you know what that means. <laughs> that he better play that, uh... Well... Leaving tribal thing. It's time to vote, and Jeff is like, are we good? And Jeremy and Sarah are both like, uh, Jeff! So then... They got into a little contest, like, uh, no, you first, no, you first. Yeah, no, you because first, I no, mean, you first, maybe no, you, you don't want to play your advantage until after you hear what the other person's got. Maybe you don't need to play, you know? So exactly. the plans could really change depending on what each of them have. So neither of them wanted to go first. So Jeff was like, all right, so are we voting? Okay, let's vote. And then Jeremy stands up and says, Jeff, I have this. I got something to say. Yeah. <laughs> so he uses his advantage, said, deuces, <laughs> and he leaves. Whoa, so now he's really left his group feeling vulnerable because now it's not an even... Because the plan was Jeremy. Now it's not an even 5-5 split, though. Right. So his side is the four against five. Yeah. So both sides are scrambling. Mm Mm-hmm. And Sarah says, Jeff, I have got something to say as well. I have a steal a vote, and I'm going to steal uh, Denise's vote. Damn. Do you think Jeremy would have been going if he didn't use his... Absolutely. I feel like probably because Ben was all like, what are we going to do now? Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> yeah. The plan was and definitely And Sarah probably would have used the steal vote just to make sure. Right. But would she? Ha- would Kim have played the idol for Jeremy? Possibly. It's and possible. So- yeah. All right. So let's vote. Okay. <laughs> I mean, everybody's changing plans. No, it's not time to vote yet. Everybody's changing okay. plans. They're trying to figure out what to do. And Sophie's like, you know what? My class, my five, over here. Wow. They really made it clear, the division. I mean, I think it was pretty clear at that point who was with who. Yeah, but was it clear to the people on Edge? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not them. But so, yeah, so Sophie is talking to Sarah, Ben, Tony, and Nick. Right. And then you have the smaller group, Kim, Tyson, Michelle, and Denise. That's and they're right. just like, who, who are we going to play this idol for? Right. What do we do? All right. So it's time to vote, finally. Now, this is where it gets interesting, too, because they figure on the bigger side, okay, that smaller side might have an idol. So we're going to have to split the votes. Which is probably split the votes, right? Three and three. Yeah. Uh, but... It wasn't an even split, but... No, it wasn't. If it was three and three, then the other side could have also voted three after Denise's vote was stolen. So it would have been a three-way tie. Right. So then, what, do they re-vote after that? And you can only pick... Okay. Yeah. So then they would have had the votes to take out who they want. Would they? Wouldn't they? Or do they go to rocks right away? I'm not sure what the new rules are. I'm not sure. So, um, Kim says, I'm going to play my idol, Jeff. She's having a hard time here figuring out who she's going to play it for. Right. She doesn't know who, and so she just takes a leap of faith and says, I'm going to play it on Denise. So no votes count for Denise. And there were some votes for Denise. hmm But the main amount of votes were for Tyson. Four votes for Tyson. Oh, damn. So Kim did not play that idol directly. And she said, I almost played it for Tyson. I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> damn. So Tyson got uh, voted off. He had no tokens. He just had a bird for the token boxes. That's right. He flipped boxes. his bird to the token boxes. <laughs> So we find out uh, next time Tony is going to be playing both sides. Mm-hmm. Oh. Isn't he telling Jeremy, like, hey, everybody's after you? But he was the one that it seemed like, from what we saw anyway, initiated yeah. the talk of getting rid of Jeremy. That's right. He told Sarah, hey, Jeremy wants you out. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. So, yeah, he's playing both sides at this point. Who knows if that's going to work out for him? I don't know. Well, you know, he's going to go out in a blaze of glory because he had that... Uh, 
bulletproof armor necklace. Oh my god. Just another <laughs> thing about Tony. How funny. It looked like he crapped himself when Jeremy <laughs> first got up and gave his advantage to Jeff. And he was just like, oh, is that a... <laughs> is that an idol is necklace Is it an immunity nullifier? idol yeah. nullifier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how happy were all of the losers on the jury when... Uh, they went up and gave Jeff a hug at the end of the episode. That was so nice. Him. That was such a nice moment. It was. They were so happy to see their families. It was yeah. really a cool thing to see. What a great episode of Survivor. Mm-hmm. This was like I my mean, favorite of the season so far. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't as much strategy as we would get in a normal episode, but I feel like the strategy that we did see was still really... It was still really good. Exciting, and there was a lot going on. It was exciting. We didn't know what was going to happen, and it was nice to see everybody's families. Yeah. So let's hope next week is as exciting. Yeah. If it's Tony, it's got to be good, right? <laughs> so now he's running through the, the forest yeah. there. Yeah, wipe so it out. So Tyson is going back to the edge of extinction. Mm-hmm. Do you think he will come back again? No. I think there's always a chance. He's good at challenges. True, but um, probably unlikely. But well, we'll see. It'll Who It'll be knows? interesting. Who knows? And we found out that the uh, finale is going to be... Uh, so a social distance finale. Mm-hmm. They're going to be doing... It's the, still the three-hour finale. Right. They're going to be doing it via people's houses. Sorry, my nose is running so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it should be interesting. Yeah. They do it like we do it, from home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Again, sorry that we could not continue the podcast anymore, but it just wasn't working. You got to know when to cut your losses, right? Absolutely. Right. So thanks for thanks for hearing us out. And until next time, much, much love. love.